My name is Mark Sutton. I graduated from OSU in 1980 with a mechanical engineering degree. I was born in Shreveport, Louisiana in a long time ago. And at six years old, I moved to Tulsa. My dad took a job with the association I ended up working for. When I grew up, it was a really nice time because we could ride our bikes. We could stay out till dark and you know come back at dark and no one worried about you. Uh, we were always outside. We didn't have video games, obviously no cell phones, etc. cetera. Uh, so I think I grew up in one of the best times uh, the United States ever had. I chose my career path by, I uh, started out wanting to work for Jacques Cousteau. Uh, I loved scuba diving. I learned to scuba dive at about 14 years old. I went to school, uh, started in, in marine biology or in biology and anticipated working for Jacques. Um, and as I went along in my couple of years into to biology, I realized that people were not getting jobs very easily. I had a sister that was a Phi Beta Cap at OU that was working, graduated with 1B, and she was working at a department store selling clothes. So my dad, who was a chemical engineer from Kansas University, uh, he kept sending me articles about how much starting engineers made and the demand for the job. So my second year into marine biology, I switched to engineering and have never looked back. I chose OSU because, it, 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 it's interesting, I should have probably chosen OU because both my sisters went to OU, but my dad said you can go to any state school, OU, OSU, and we'll help you financially. I had a lot of friends that were going to OSU, didn't know a lot about OSU. I was, a, in fact, a OU football fan the whole time I grew up. Um, I switched to, I, I chose OSU because of friends, and then I became one of those guys that has two favorite teams, OSU and anybody playing OU. My time at OSU was, was really wonderful. I spent a little too long because I changed my major and my dad would say, you know, he took six years to get through school, that's not great. Um, but during my time, I, I pledged a fraternity, have some lifelong friends from that fraternity. Uh, just loved everything about Stillwater and the fact that uh, it, was, it was such a good engineering school that it was respected. My dad, he, he was out in the engineering world, and he, he respected OSU graduates. So I, I thought that was the greatest choice I could have made. My time in the College of Engineering here at Stillwater prepared me mainly how to think. I always felt like I wasn't the, the typical engineer. Uh, I didn't like, when I got out of high school, I didn't want any more chemistry or physics or math. Why I, that's why I went into marine biology. Once I did it and got through it, I knew that I wasn't going to be a numbers cruncher. And that's not what I ended up in my career. I ended up being an association executive. So it prepared me mainly how to solve problems, how to think about it and look at it logically. I know my, my, my last boss, that when he first hired me, he said, uh, I want an engineer not a business person, not anything, I want an engineer because I know the College of Engineering prepares you to learn how to think. My advice to any students at OSU was enjoy it, study hard, but enjoy it because it turned out to be some of the best, it will turn out to be some of the best times that you'll spend in your life, in my opinion, if you do it right. And participate in basketball and go to the basketball games. We need more people at the basketball games. What Stillwater means is, is I have, I, I used to have a favorite color and it wasn't orange. Now I definitely have a favorite color and it's orange and all my family, uh, they also know that I don't try to, I try not to wear any red. I bleed orange and both of my grandkids, I was unsuccessful in getting my oldest granddaughter who is 20 now. She got a, a, a scholarship to play junior college volleyball, but her backup plan was always to come to Stillwater. I mean, I literally have my grandkids trained to bypass Norman unless they got a scholarship there. So I think that it, it, it means, still it means a whole lot to me. Um, I lived here, as I said, six years and would have, would have stayed longer if, if, uh, if I financially could have. I just needed to make some money when I, well, you know, it's hard to be on that $20 a month or $20 a week when you're in a, a college, uh, in college and you can't, you know, a date or, do you buy beer?